After spending a decade in jail and later having her crimes quashed, Roseanne Beckett is taking her fight back to the state of New South Wales, demanding compensation. Now, this all follows an historic High Court decision today which overturned a 90-year-old legal president. Lauren Ginoli reports. For Roseanne Beckett, it's been a legal fight spanning 25 years, 10 spent in jail. And now she's been granted an appeal to seek compensation on the basis of malicious prosecution. Outside court, the relief showed. I'm elated. I'm overjoyed. Words fail me at the moment. I just think yeah. every Australian. Yeah. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for justice prevailing at last. 25 years is a long time. In 1991, Ms Beckett from Wollongong, south of Sydney, was wrongfully convicted of hiring a hitman to kill her husband and trying to poison him. In 2005, after spending a decade behind bars, the charges were quashed. The New South Wales Director of Public Prosecutions didn't pursue the matter, so there was no retrial. Ms Beckett had tried to sue for malicious prosecution but was told she would first have to prove her innocence. Having considered the law, the High Court has today allowed Ms Beckett's appeal. She and her supporters are vowing to keep going. Fighting on right to the end. Fighting on. Closure. Yes, she needs compensation for the 10 years of wrongful incarceration. Lauren Ginoli, Nine News.